Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Rogue Voltage, an extremely unique-looking roguelike deck builder that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. It says it's a roguelike deck builder that meets a modular synthesizer, but probably the best way of explaining it that the most people would understand, it's kind of like a programming or automation game meets a roguelike deck builder or a Zaktronics game, if you're familiar. But without further ado, let's pop on in. Let's check out the tutorial first. Stole my word. The year is 3000 and something. The world, well, let's say it's gotten pretty much destroyed. The few survivors of the grav Gravistrophy live in scattered campsites, okay? Story begins on a day like any other. Slopper Johnson, our post-apocalyptic parcel carrier, is looking for modules to bring back to his camp. Okay. The modular rack. Combined combat actions are constructed from modules that you will wire together. Some generate energy, some amplify it or store it, and others will turn it into effects. Connect modules by dragging cables between the input and the output jacks of matching colors. Okay. I've done it. I'm a genius. I'm sure it won't get more complex than put red wire in red spot. Activates modules on the rack. Select a target for your blaster. Okay, so, oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so, the backpack. In the backpack, you can store modules that you don't need immediately and exchange modules between characters. There's a healing potion in it, but you can't use it yet since the input jack is green. I mean, so I gotta put it in here somewhere, but we can't use it yet. And we can't, yeah, gotcha. Just making sure. So theoretically, this is already linked up, so we can just go for it again. Gotcha. Drag the loot module into your rack. Generates an energy whenever a combatant dies. Okay, holds energy until the end of the owner's turn. Will receive shock after activation. Okay, I'll just drag that in there for now. Is there a, uh, okay, I can, act. one second. Alright, there's mostly ambient noise in the background there, so it's hard to, it's always hard to audio balance that. Oh, we got a timeline up here. Timeline shows when the turns of you and your enemies take place. Now it's Slopper Johnson's turn. Afterwards, time will tick forward, and in five time steps, it'll be the Chrono Cat's turn. See the highlighted circle in seven steps? That's when Slopper Johnson's next turn will be. After that, in eight steps, it'll be Fox's turn. Gotcha. So theoretically, we can attack twice before the Fox gets to go. We generate... So hold on. Does this need to be... This doesn't need to be connected to anything. And like, we can... We can unconnect that. We can reconnect that mid... Just making sure that this doesn't need to be like put in here you know like we don't need to connect this over here like yeah just making sure so do we just get an energy but where does that energy go we'll see all right so logically i mean we can't kill we could kill you before your next attack as well i guess is the thing so whatever we do we just want to make sure we target the same unit this stops us from taking damage this like literally this first time the succession of turns can be manipulated with grav charge. Turns can be moved backwards or forwards in time by applying grav charge or grav charge or grav charge plus or grav charge minus to a combatant. Okay. The Chrono Cat just applied plus two to Slopper Johnson, pushing his turn behind that of the Fox. You son of a... Well, I... Had I known... Had I known, I would have changed my target. Okay. Your new soul sensor generates energy whenever an enemy dies. Sensor modules cannot store energy. Use it the same turn or it will dissipate. If you, if you have the healing potion connected to the soul sensor as you finish off your enemy, it will receive energy to heal you. Oh, I see. I didn't see the green port up at the top. Gotcha. It's, it was really tough to see that green port. Gotcha. Okay, so that's really cool. So now we might as well... Snap it. Fire it off. Get a kill here. We do get an energy. 
which then lets us heal up. Gotcha. And then it just gets destroyed. And then shock. So shock is just cannot be activated this turn. Understood. So is there a way that I... You said we could apply plus or minus or whatever. Is that something that I can do here? Or is that... Because, yeah, that's... It looks like it's every single time. Yeah, it's getting applied to me literally every time. That is brutal. Converts energy into plasma. Okay. Uh, what an amazing find. It has a universal jack. Okay, so that's what that means. Wait, what? Okay. We have an event. Brother, wait! You forgot your blade module. Wait, Slopper Jackson? And you're my brother? Wait a minute. <laughs> you forgot your blade module. Remember how you said it's your most important weapon? Switch over to my rack and drag it onto the backpack and then drag it over to yours. Blade module. There we go. Okay. Deals damage to all enemies on the same time step as the owner. Okay. Sure. We'll just do that for now. Deals damage to target enemy. Deals damage. So I'm assuming it's just going to be one. And what do you have? You've got... Generates an energy on both output jacks on activation. So that's pretty straightforward. This is locked in place. Permanently locked to the rack. Construct a universal healing potion with cracked. So those are completely locked in those two spots. They cannot be moved at all. Everything is. Interesting. Maybe it's for the tutorial. Or maybe that's just like a, a character perk or something. Your new blade module does not shoot targets, but instead hits all enemies on the same time step as its owner. I, I, the phrasing on that feels wrong. Is it just like, do, it just attacks everybody, right? Like it's, it's makes it sound more confusing than it actually is. That Fox's turn is currently aligned with that of Slopper Johnson. No, I see what you're saying. All enemies on this. You mean like literally, okay. So no, that, that is very specific. That's important. Use his blade module to deal, deal serious damage. Gotcha. So we could like wire it up like this. If there's nobody on. gotcha. So no, that's completely relevant. I'm hoping it does a lot of damage, otherwise, what's the point? I'm trusting you. Two damage? Okay. So, why does it not say the amount of damage it does? Or am I supposed to just assume if it's a, Z, if it's a not plus one, it does one damage? If it's a plus one, a plus one equipment, it does two damage? Is that just a universal assumption, or what? Remember how the Crow Cat pushed a turn back on the timeline? Slopper, ja <laughs> Slopper Jackson can do the exact same with his decelerator module. He should delay his brother's turn to the next time step so that it'll be aligned with the enemy and he can use the blade module again. Okay. So we are we are hooked up. Okay. So that's this sure thing. We also get this health potion. It's got a universal one. Remember that your soul sensor will trigger again if you finish off another enemy. Have it wired to your new plasma converter to transform excess energy into plasma. Valuable resource in this destroyed world. Gotcha. Depending on how quickly you manage to end a battle, you'll receive more valuable modules as loot. Always aim to defeat the monsters as soon as possible, or the battle might take a dangerous turn. Okay, so this is... I did hook this up. I did hook it up already. And we are hooked up to the blade still. Bye-bye. So we get the plasma, and that should just happen automatically. Yeah. Another blaster. And it seems to work just fine. Jackson, I think it's finally time that you have a weapon of your own. But, okay. Oh, oh, it has a blue port, actually. I'll put the blue ports both over here. Is there a reason why, like... I mean, so there's no, like... 
the wires can run through anything. So there's nothing really stopping that. All right. We got some kind of a boss here. Strong gravio activity in these swamps must come from this scary giant mushroom. If we stick it to what we've learned, we can defeat it. If we stick to what we've learned, we can defeat it. All right. So it is now Slopper Jackson. So we're going right up there. Grav Charge Plus is literally just going to be a 1 plus 1, right? And bumps them back 1, not plus 2, or... Because it was plus 2 before. Uh, construct a healing potion. We don't need to construct another healing potion at the moment. Um, theoretically, if I can push you back appropriately to that tile, you die in one hit anyways. Can I also... I can move that... Oh! I can move that over there mid-combat and give you a healing potion. I really like that. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. All right. So we got the gravity charge, and then we're doing damage. Hopefully we do the gravity charge thing first. Okay. It says it's pushing you back to the same tile. Good. Good. And now for damage, I guess we go for you. Okay. We got that one connected. Uh, when combatant dies... Heal the owner. So that's a universal connect. Okay, good. Solid. This is actually very, 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 very cool. Definitely connect that here. Do we need another? I don't think I need to set up another potion at the moment. Because we'll, we'll knock you back. We'll blast her. We're connected there. I mean... There's nothing really to do with this. It's also has shock anyways, theoretically. So this is just... We're going to be doing two damage. Okay, so he's sped himself up now. The Grav Equilibrium. Now it's the turn of the Grav Equilibrium. It regularly levels and balances... Levels and balances of Grav Charge. Grav Charge Plus is halved. Grav Charge minus result in a grab spike. Wait, okay, hold on. What? So your bonus is halved rounded down, and if you have negative, if you have negative, you will take damage. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So it gets neutralized, and then that stuff happens. It goes back to zero. Understood. Understood. So you're going to do another grab charge, another fire. I mean, we don't even need to do the fire. So I might as well generate a potion. Move it back. Okay. So we're going to be generating an extra... I don't need to use this potion, though. So it doesn't really matter. I'll generate... Uh, Plasma. Yeah, here. Punk. Interesting. All right, back in camp, you can heal yourself for plasma or restore buildings to discover special modules. Okay. Drag the module of your choice onto your rack. Amplifier plus one adds plus one energy to a current. Interesting. Break crust with energy. Huh. Module cannot be activated. First incoming energy will break the crust. Can be charged or discharged. Stores energy throughout turns and battles. Very cool. But it has to be green input, blue output. That's actually kind of interesting. Basically, this is good in the event that um, we don't... If we don't need to grab charge on a turn, we could get this and store it up to create more potions, or we could create uh, or do more damage. 
Generates an energy whenever the owner is healed is pretty cool. That is very, very cool. Adds an energy to the current. But like, is it a red out? Yeah, it's a red output, but you, you won't be able to use the red output until we get the, until we break the crust. So like, okay, that's super, that's super strange. I see the, uh, the use of all of these, but I'm most curious about what that is going to be like. I, I suppose it is going to be a, I mean, a Slopper Johnson moment. Then we could potentially like, you know, oh, God dang it, hook this up like this, and then we will be able to do this next time. I don't know. It seems a little weird, but. I'm curious. So we can also heal ourselves. I mean, is that what you want me to do? Start the adventure? Alright, here we go. Into what seems like the like a run now. More so. Okay, so we have Oh, what the hell? So these are locked at the beginning of battle or just completely locked entirely. We can drag stuff onto it. We have the plasma converter. It seems like we have a different set of stuff. Permanently locked to racks. We can put the, the red here. We can do that, obviously. Uh, the one energy. We could run that in here. Or if we ever want to... Could we theoretically... modifies a current so you just you're just going to modify it you can convert but this could add it's strange so we could have this be like this and then like loop back in do we want to waste a turn just trying to see what this does i kind of do so this will convert it into that we get the red and then theoretically couldn't we get to the point where uh, we do a double blaster every turn. Like I could blaster once this turn, and it probably I probably should or whatever. This is when a combatant dies. I mean, I'll hook this up for the hell of it, but it doesn't really matter. And the fact that I can't uh, move any of these other things is so messy. Sure just have it be like that so this breaks this so now you can now i can swap that all right so i'm on the same as same turn as the gnat do you have anything different you have the potion factory plus one still blaster and you have the decelerator um bomb thrower don't like the sound of that i can't really so the we're all going to be on the same turn as that guy, so that works well. I feel like it's we might as well decelerate, but we might as well decelerate and then attack this guy. Because you're going to be dying on this turn, hopefully. That's the plan. Unless I want to... I don't want to decelerate myself. So it's plus two as well, anyways. It's nuts. We'll blast you. Good. Sure thing, sure thing. Oh, you slowed me down. I have a bomb. Okay, hold on. So now... Now we're not on the same step at all. This should be one... One energy gets in here, adds another energy. This should be... This should have two energy theoretically doing two damage, right? Theoretically doing two damage. And then the plus one, so we put that in, and then it gets plus one right there, and it goes in. So that's how that's working. All right. So I guess... This is when the bomb blows up. It's on the same turn that I get to go. Okay. So for two power? Okay, good. All right, I get it then. Oh, we should have lined up the energy with what, though? 
I guess I should have lined it up with um, this. We should do it by default. Okay, so the amplifier is done. Oh, that's like not that good then. Destroyed after additional activation will recover after battle. If that crust comes back, that just sucks. Explode in six time steps and deal two damage to both heroes. Diffuse it with energy. I mean, you don't get a go again. So you're telling me I needed to drag this bomb onto... Well, you don't have... You can't give me blue energy anyways. So there's nothing I can do except for... The, the best case scenario is I maybe can kill that when... It, kill this guy when the bomb's going to go off. But I think it'll still go off, right? It probably will. Generate a potion, probably. If I can't kill... That's when the time rift happens. If I can't kill, I might as well give a potion. But I don't know that I can generate two damage with you, is the thing. If I decelerate you, I could get you to line up, but it, yeah. Nah, I think we just, um, we blast her to be safe, I guess. Annoyingly. Unless we could target the bomb somehow. Nope. So we get it go before it goes again, that's the ideal. But, yeah, I was, I was going to say, the bomb probably gets to go off first. That's fun. So this breaks if it breaks if I use it again. Durability recovers after. That just seems really bad unless that crystal goes away. Which it might. Do you have a potion? Couldn't, couldn't make up a potion in that term. All right. Kill, generate the extra resources, I suppose, but that's that's some pain. At least we didn't waste the uh, the plasma. Generates two energy whenever the owner is healed. Applies boost one to all modules of the of type throughput module on this rack until the end of the turn. I don't think I have a throughput module. Unless... I don't know. Merge two currents. Merge two currents. Destroyed after activation. Generates two energy whenever the owner's healed. Cracked. These are all cracked. I really like uh, the red bonus though the red output seems strong i want to check out what a shop situation looks like we are really going to need to um focus on the healing setup then uh the good news is we'll be able to boost you oh okay perfect can be safely used once per so the 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 crack is gone that's important Let me just use the blaster. Blade module has a green input this time. Okay. So we have the red output. I can only boost a green. I only have a setup to boost a green. damage. I'm guessing you split or something. You got punch up. I was trying to see what that was, but it, didn't, it doesn't tell me. Alright, this should be fine. I get the potion, and then I do the decelerator, which should be plus one, so it gets, yeah. Should decelerate you too. Nice and easy. We get ourselves a little potion. Alright. 
when kill heal when heal generate two energy so we can get we can actually get two there that actually works pretty well um this will generate two damage. We can just bypass this. This should be generating two damage side by side. We're good to go. Did I set this up right? We kill. We we generate the energy for the heal. We heal. The heal generates two energy for plasma. Yes. Great. And then it gets just destroyed. Uh, merge two currents into a blue. It's kind of weird for us. Uh, grab charge plus. Having a second one is not bad. Generates an energy when the owner takes damage. Can be activated safely one time per battle. That is super usable. It's a blue output. So a blue output, I'd say we obviously have no current use on here. Unless, like, you know. That works fine, but... You obviously have more use for a um, blue input. Whenever you take damage, you generate a potion is pretty good. We'll check out a shop. Uh, okay, requires plasma. Generates one energy whenever a module of type storage module is charged. I don't think we have one. We, we saw what that was, though. Generates an energy whenever the owner takes damage. Can be activated safely once per battle. Generates energy whenever plasma is created. Oh, we could do that and, like, have it just be a safe way to, like, quickly use that and pop out. Healing potion destroys itself after use. I mean, it's still useful, for sure. Uh, a red grav charge? Eh? This is really interesting because I, I actually could... I think we could look at this as an econ generating tool. Right? Because we could do... This... Push button to buy. I can't help but notice I could. it looks like I could leave. I don't want to try and steal. But we would want to do something like... So, but you have, hold on, you have the, ah, that's locked. And I do feel like it's one of the better things to have. But I don't need the blue sensor, and these are locked for now. Whenever you take damage, generate blue. Alright, that doesn't work out great. Unless, wait, so this generates it. It doesn't matter, I guess, if um, if it's your turn, right? It should generate still, yeah? Enemy dies, generate plasma. Why does it say plus one plasma here? Like I need, like I need to buy it. I already have it. Uh, generates an energy. Generates a green whenever you take damage. Could actually be really interesting too. Getting kind of messy there. I'm going to just do that for safety. Pop out. I'll admit I want to go to question marksville. Heals both your characters by one. Great. Skip a fight to make it happen, though. Uh, we certainly can't line up anything. Energy whenever plasma is created. So we're going to take damage. So we'll slow down you, but it's not really even going to work that well. We have the plus one. Yeah, because I, I, I can't line you guys up. No matter what I do here. There's nothing I can do to line you up. I'm more likely to take damage than generate plasma right now. So, I mean, just for 
you know, standard boring reasons we want you knocked back. I don't know what the strength buff is. I'm assuming it's like you do more damage because I hit you or something, but it's like, I don't know. I'm not going to not do damage. Okay, what, what hell have I created here? A lot of this is completely locked into place. I wish, and this is super minor, I wish that locked into place just meant, like, since I'm not seeing, this will be completely different the moment there's something that is positionally relevant, but right now there is no positional relevance, so I wish locked made it so that they couldn't be removed from the rack. I wish it wasn't locked into position. I, it's so minor, but like, I wish I could clean this up, you know? Like, I want to put this in the corner. Like, I want to have a system. I want to have my system. Uh, but I cannot currently do that. Okay. Whenever the owner takes damage. I don't know who's taking damage. So you have the plasma linked up. Whenever the owner takes... I don't know which one's going to take damage. Do I? To say who you intend to attack. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's told to me. Yeah, there's like a little bit of clarity that's that's missing that I think is going to be helpful, but it, ultimately I do understand. But And I don't even know if that's like... Maybe that's fine. Maybe they don't want me to know... Maybe they don't want me to know who the ooze is targeting. But I feel like there probably is a way to know. Maybe it's the thing underneath. You know, maybe not both of these are... Maybe it's not this and this telling me that it's uh, Johnson's turn, for example. Could very well be the case. I think we just send it. Yeah, I think we just send it. Duplicate. Wait, that's your whole thing? That's your whole thing? Um, my next turn, I'm going to be knocked onto that one. So we just do it as simple as this. We do have a, a on kill. So we do the on kill link instead. And since we're about to have a kill, we're going to be getting plasma. Might as well generate the... Um, I think I'd rather generate a potion because you're going to be going later anyways. So we want to generate the potion. So we're generating one poison, kill, link up, get the plasma. Good. We want to be killing this one. Good deal. So we generated an energy. But we, we can't proc that energy until our turn. And I can't link two, two things up to this anyways. But we have, a, we have a blue that we can utilize. Hip, hip, hooray. We can also do a murder now. Would we rather do that now or we, would we rather wait? I think we would rather wait, right? Because then we can generate more plasma. So we don't really want to kill right now. Which means that this this play was irrelevant. Oh. Didn't really want to do that, I, I, I guess. Or do I, actually? I think they go first. When we, when we line up, I think they go first. So I guess I'll, I'll move myself back. Not that I really wanted to that bad. Okay. So now... This is shocked anyways. We can't... Gotcha. We can't utilize that stuff too many times in a row. I think we just leave it there. Leave it there. I'll do bonus damage. So we can't... Yeah, we can't gain an energy every turn. Or plasma. Every single turn. There is a limit. Boost one all modules with of the type throughput... Again, I don't think I have that. 
two energy whenever another module gets destroyed. That's actually kind of cool. But wait, oh, but it's it's destroyed. There's no safe use. Merges. We can merge to green. We could also just turn that into a converter, you know? I could look at this as a... Um, get green energy. But I already have that. Could get blue to green. There's no reason why I think I'd want to do that. I don't have two green inputs. I don't know. I don't really care about any of this, actually. I'll grab this. It'll be useful for a pinch, you know? It'll be useful in a pinch. The pylon boss and pylon. I have no idea, man. No idea. Sometimes it's like, well, obviously kill the, the small thing first. Sometimes it's like, don't you dare touch it. And in a game like this, I'm extra concerned that I could be doing something stupid. Oh, well. Grab charge. I'm trying to think, how can I down the road? Down the road, how do I link these guys up? I'm not sure. It's plus two, plus two. We're, it's because we're an odd number away. And I can't give this... Because this gives plus one... I have to give an even number unless I can generate two energy in this somehow. Can this store more energy? If I, like, didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? If I just didn't do anything on this turn, would it give two energy to store? Because I could see that being better in some cases, for sure. Either way, I'm going to attack the pylon and I guess hopefully kill it next turn on your turn and hopefully that's not stupid. And I'm just going to slow down the boss because why the hell not? That generated something with the pylon. We'll see. We'll see who knows. Two damage. Two damage while not being on the same uh, slide looks good here. Theoretically, this could be a kill. So I'll go for that. And then this is listening for it, even if it, it doesn't matter. Take damage. This is listening. Yeah, it's listening for it. It doesn't need to be preemptively connected. Should be two damage. What what that exactly does, I'm not sure. What on earth? Grav recoil. Activation on this turn gives you plus two. Gotcha. Why did I I, I could skip it for a turn, I don't care. I'm happy to use that that energy right there. It's a one-time safe activation, yeah? We're not breaking anything. Yeah, I really, really want to line them up. And he's got a really big bar here, so we should be able to. It, it sure looks like it. Okay, decelerator, bump you back. It's gonna line up with you next turn. Okay, so this is this would break. Grav recoil. Oh shoot! The thing is, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to link. Oh shoot! That's annoying. Wait, but what happened? How? Now you're going right here? You're not lining up anymore. Okay, that works out fine. That puts us at one. We want to use this. These two are not connected 
or not affected by that status effect. Gotcha. And we don't want to we don't want to waste this. It's a one-time use. This is blocked. Any more things? Gotcha. Sure. We'll do the one there. Then we wait all the way until here. Uh Okay, so we have to do them in this order. It's cracked. I don't really want to debuff anybody's speed on this turn. Because it pushes them back immediately. The only reason, the only time I would do it is if I was pushing back myself, I think. I wish I could push back, I could push back you and then push back again, but that's just not going to work. Not that it even matters. We're about to be equilibrium. So we don't want to be doing the pushback. We just want to... Might as well do the one damage. Unless I want to... I don't. I don't want to do that. No reason not to blaster. Alright, so... <laughs> I can't boost this anyways. So this is two damage. I can't boost it back regardless. Um, I take damage. That happens. Two energy whenever module is destroyed. I don't really want to destroy this module. I, th I find it too useful. But it's weird. Like Things are so limited. This is just going to be two damage. Okay. Can be safely activated. Okay, so we are now... Oh, shoot. I wish the turn order was just slightly different. But I couldn't delay him. This delays me. To an extent, I can, I can handle a little bit of delay. In fact, this is an optimal delay. I want to be delayed here. Because then I can be delayed again. And then we line up again. We have a we have a green energy that we don't really need to use. But next turn when we line up, we could we could do something like this, but right now it doesn't make sense to. Am I right? We also have the heal that's the other thing. Maybe I just... Maybe it's a good idea to heal. Sure. Heal. So we're healing. We're doing a blaster. We're getting delayed back here. Which works very well because we can be delayed too and be on the same turn once again. And just... I think the heal is going to be more important. Blaster of one. Hip, hip, hooray. Alright, so... I don't care if I get pushed back. We definitely want to do this to delay you. Might as well blaster because then you're going to die in two damage. Uh, I don't have any... I mean, I do have excess here, but then this will be destroyed forever. Which I don't think I really want to do. So we actually want to delay our own guy. Except that we are taking damage here. That's just fine. Oof. Lined up. Okay. So you're going first, huh? Okay. If you're going first, I might as well generate... Ugh, I kind of wish you were generating second because then... Well, no, it doesn't matter. This is good. Uh, don't attack this. Do I have a converter that I could grab for blue? No. It's fine. Generating a potion. Nothing wrong with that. We, we got you right after this. Assuming that we do get a go. Is it Does it just go top to bottom? Is that the turn order? I think that might be the turn order. Alright. On lethal. Gain moolah. Okay. That's two damage. Two damage AoE. And then we gain money. I don't really have any extra energy to utilize here, but that's okay. 
cool. Picks up grab charge from other from another combatant as energy. And then gets destroyed. Like it's it's tough cuz I'm like I don't think that it's tough because I, I understand why so many things are cracked and why there's so much impermanence. But I do really always like the idea of creating a build. And the fact that so many things are really just one-time use is, is tough. So I wonder how frequently you get things that aren't. It seems like the shops are decent places to do it. Like... It seems like, at best, most things, they can be used once per battle, aside from your base set kit. Uh, creates a copy of another target module. The copy has unstable. And then this gets destroyed. See, like, that's the thing. Is I don't really care. I don't really care about any of this. Because <laughs> I know that it's just one time. So I'm not really... I'm not that invested in any of those choices, in specific. Um, rip. But I think, yeah, maybe these... These are the things that are more permanent. Gotcha. So it's like maybe once a zone. Once a zone, you'll get a permanent thing. And then maybe you'll get a couple quasi-permanent things. And then a bunch of consumables. So it, it makes sense. Like, it makes sense. Whenever the owner is inflicted with grav charge, generate an energy. Never breaks, importantly. Never breaks. Infinite use. Whenever a storage module is used, transforms another module into a different module of the same level. Uses plasma. I mean, this is obviously, like, the best one. Like, pr pretty easily, I would say. Um, but, yeah, it looks like what else we got in the demo. There Looks like there's two, two stages probably in the demo here. Uh, but it's very cool. Very neat game. Very wild game. I really enjoy it. It's definitely doing something different. Um... I wouldn't be shocked if the devs were inspired by the one character in, like, Backpack Hero, for example, uh, and they took that and they're like, well, what if we just made that the core the core mechanic and leaned into that further? And in my opinion, I think that sounds great, and I think it works really well here. It feels, it feels cleaner, um, and I think that uh, if they take it and run and they go even further with it, I think that'll be great. I think dealing maybe with some... Uh, proximity boosts and things like that it, like if you're gonna have things locked in place like i was mentioning earlier having things that are positionally relevant i think could be really really interesting i was thinking not that i'm uh, to be clear i'm kind of happy i don't have to but i was anticipating i was gonna have to come in and like manage wires like things can't be in certain places because it would block wires or whatever and to an extent i i almost wish it had that level of depth that i had to think about but i also am happy i didn't have to so you know it's one of those weird things where it's like i don't know i don't know but a, a fun way of implementing that idea is positionally relevant things where it's like when this activates gives an energy to to you know the module above it you know something like that but i understand that that might go against some some core concepts uh, that the devs may want. But I think it could be a lot of fun. The game's really neat. I'm excited to watch it and see how it shapes up. This is a really impressive alpha teaser. It's very early on, and it's very promising. Uh, Rogue Voltage. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Check out the channel. Like I said, I'll see you next time. Bye!